All right, here's my disclaimer. This is not some of our regular content. Today's video is going to be about our breastfeeding journey and how that is coming to an end and how we're both dealing with it. Of course, is 14 months old. He is still breastfed up until a day ago. I decided that I am personally done with it. I do have some milk stashed up for him uh, so he can have some of his mama's milk for a little bit longer. But once that runs out, we will be switching to cow milk. We've tried cow milk whenever he turned 12 months old. He spit it out. I don't know if it's because it's cold or because it's not what he's used to. So I will probably go ahead and start introducing it to him again with three quarters cow milk, one quarter breast milk. He has yet to sleep through the night being 14 months old. He uses me a lot for comfort in the night. He sleeps in his crib here for the first part of the night and then wakes up and will not go back to sleep in his crib. So we co-sleep. And when we co-sleep, he likes to nurse. And sometimes it can be all night long. Sometimes it'll be just one or two times. I finally decided that he needed to sleep through the night. It would be better for him. It would be better for me and my relationship with my husband. And it's just something that needed to happen. So once he turned a year old, I stopped pumping to have my body kind of start weaning itself. And I haven't pumped since. I didn't have a huge supply, but I had enough to take care of him as well as fill my freezer um, with a small stash. So, after 12 months, I stopped pumping. I stopped feeding him through the day. My supply decreased. So I guess you could say I haven't done it cold turkey, but at nighttime is when I will really produce because like I said earlier, he uses me for comfort a lot during the night. So my husband was out of town, so I figured it would be the perfect time to start. So I didn't want to stop breastfeeding at night and then keep him in his crib all at the same time because that is another goal of ours is to <laughs> is to eventually get him to sleep on his own in his crib but I feel like that will come after he has fully weaned off of me so I got a little distracted here. Day one. He's handing me all his diapers that have been stored up and he thinks that they're hats. Um, but anyways, back to day one. It was two days ago actually. I decided that night randomly that I was going to be done. Patrick was out of town. Perfect time to do it because I know the first couple of nights are the worst. And it was. He was up probably every 45 minutes to an hour, screaming and crying. He tried several times to nurse and I wouldn't let him. And so that just brought on more tears. Um, woke up that morning there were still a lot of tears shed because that used to be our morning routine is wake up let him nurse for a while then eat some breakfast 
or get in the car and take him to my sister-in-law's house who watches him some days while I work. So we got up, got ready, got in the car, got on our way. I worked that first day, so it wasn't that hard um, for me. He actually did not cry for the first time of me dropping him off at my sister-in-law's house, which kind of made me sad, um, but happy at the same time that he is comfortable enough there and has enough fun there that he wouldn't cry. Um, but I kind of felt sad because I felt like he was mad at me and he was happy to be away from me for a while. Um, and maybe that's not the case. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but that's just how I felt. So fast forward through the day at work. Um, I'm really engorged. It's hurting, but not much. Um, it didn't really hurt unless you touched it. It felt like there were pebbles under my right breast. My left breast was fine. I could tell that it was full, but it wasn't hurting me. Um, so that was fine. Went to dinner. Dinner was great. He fell asleep in the car on the ride home. Got home. I was in so much pain. I couldn't even brush up against myself on the right side without being in pain. He would not let me lay him down in his crib, which he would normally do, um, and sleep there for the first couple of hours of the night. So I just said, you know what? I guess it's my bedtime too. Let's go get in the bed. And I did give in. I did let him nurse a little bit off of my right side to help relieve some of that pressure. I do kind of regret doing that, but at the same time, I did get some relief. Uh, at the time, I had not purchased any cabbage, and I, I just wasn't prepared because, like I said, it was just a whim kind of thing. I just said, hey, this is what I'm going to do, and let's do it. Day two is today. Um, woke up, right side's feeling fine, but now it's my left side today that you can hardly touch without it. Um, and it's not painful, painful, unless you touch it. Um, and he has squeezed me a couple times where it's hurt a little bit, um, but nothing that's not unbearable. Sorry, he's getting his pouch all over the floor. Um, so I have these Lantosh pearls packets and they fit perfectly around your uh, breast and they have a hole in the center for your nipple to go through. I used those and got some relief. I haven't taken any Tylenol yet. I might later tonight um, <laughs> because I don't plan on giving in tonight even through the pain but I also don't want to get mastitis. So I'm using those cold packs, putting them in the freezer, and alternating those with cabbage leaves. Surprise! Um, went and got that. Cabbage has anti-inflammatory properties to it, as well as the cold temperatures help with the inflammation as well. So I'm just kind of alternating those back and forth. You want to make sure that you cut the hard part of the stem off so that it doesn't hurt. Um, and you also want to wear a more supportive bra. I wouldn't go back to your other bras, but maybe um, just take your nursing bras and pull the straps up okay. really, really tight. So it's day three. Last night, um, he went to bed in his crib just fine, like normal. Didn't feed him at all. Um, he woke up about three hours later and it took a while for him to go back to sleep. Patrick came back home last night from out of town and he was ready to sleep on the couch. Um, but during the night he 
wasn't up as much for as long of a period of time. He was maybe up every two or three hours for five minutes or so, and then he was ready to go back to sleep. Pain-wise, my right breast is still fine, um, and my left breast hurts, but when I put pressure to it, it's not as bad as when someone else does, I guess, because you know your own pressure and what you're putting towards it. All right, well, we've made it to day four. I've been just a little bit moody. <laughs> you can ask Patrick about that. But other than that, pain-wise, I'm able to do everything I want to do, lay on my stomach and everything. Uh, right breast still hurts a little bit. Excuse me, left breast still hurts a little bit. Right breast is fine. Forrest, unfortunately, has come down with an ear infection, so he's a little bit under the weather. Um, he took a, one dose of amoxicillin and had a couple pieces of chocolate, and now he's geared up, ready to go. Patrick's throwing stuff at me. Um, but he's doing pretty well being sick, and not yeah. wanting to use me as comfort yeah. so i take that as a win in my book. day five is really no different than day four day six now that's a story to tell i thought i was almost done except for a little bit in my left um didn't wear any kind of pads and that was a mistake because got to work hair was up wasn't really feeling it today. I'm writing in the chart, and the next thing you know, I feel something cold brushed by my arm. And guess what? Little did I know I had leaked through my shirt, and I don't think anybody saw me. So I quick pulled my hair down out of my braid that it was in. Thanks for it's long enough, I was able to cover it. And let's just say some more cabbage went in, and hopefully this thing's about done. Wasn't that much, but everyone knows that they just hate that happening. And it happened to me at work, and I didn't have an extra change of shirts. Luckily, it dried pretty quick, though, so wasn't that worried about it. All right, we made it. Seven days. Um, there's no more pain. Now, do I believe there's probably still some milk left there, and if I were to give up and screw everything up that we've already been working so hard towards, yes, I do believe my supply would come back. So, is it completely over? No, but the pain's gone. He's weaned. He's drinking cow's milk. And I think that will be it for our breastfeeding journey. I'm really sad that it's come to an end. Um, like I said earlier, he did come down with what they originally thought was an ear infection. And of course, you know, when your baby's sick, you want to comfort them. And that was his main comfort, as I've said earlier. Um, so that was really hard for both of us, but we did get over it. Also, he cut a molar within those seven days, so it's it's been a lot of crying around here, but I am glad that I have my body back for me and I can start doing things that I wasn't able to do, like leaving him for the weekend and stuff like that without having to worry about packing my pump and worrying about where a freezer will be so I can put my milk in and get my milk back home and all of those are just things that I'm glad to be doing and he doesn't hate me.